Ariel and Treasure Bedtime Story for Kid. Hello, beloved readers. Today, I have an exciting story to share with you. I hope it brings you joy and excitement. Today, Luna have a book named Ariel and Treasure Bedtime Story for Kid. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe to the Kid channel for more stories. Thank you for reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in the sparkling blue waters of the deep ocean, there lived a mermaid named Ariel. Ariel had long, flowing red hair, bright blue eyes, and a beautiful green tail that shimmered in the sunlight. She was curious and adventurous, always exploring the ocean and discovering new wonders. One day, while swimming near an old shipwreck, Ariel found a mysterious ancient map stuck in the coral. The map showed the way to a hidden treasure buried deep within a secret underwater cave. Ariel's eyes sparkled with excitement. She had always dreamed of finding hidden treasure. Ariel quickly swam to her best friend, a cheerful fish named Flounder. Look, Flounder! I found a treasure map, she exclaimed, showing him the map. Flounder's eyes widened. Wow, Ariel, do you think the treasure is real? There's only one way to find out, Ariel said, her tail flicking with excitement. Let's go on an adventure. The two friends set off, following the map's direction. They swam past colorful coral reefs through schools of shimmering fish and over sandy ocean floors. As they journeyed deeper into the ocean, they encountered various sea creatures. A wise old turtle pointed them in the right direction, and a playful dolphin helped them navigate through a maze of seaweed. After a long journey, Ariel and Flounder finally arrived at the entrance of the secret underwater cave. The cave was dark and mysterious, with only a few rays of sunlight filtering through the water. Ariel took a deep breath and swam inside, with Flounder close behind. Inside the cave, they found a large, ancient chest covered in seaweed and barnacle. Ariel's heart pounded with excitement as she carefully opened the chest. To her amazement, it was filled with glittering gold coins, sparkling jewels, and beautiful pearls. But among all the treasures, Ariel found something even more special, a beautiful golden locket. Ariel opened the locket and saw a tiny picture of a mermaid and a sailor, smiling happily together. She realized that this locket must have belonged to someone who loved the ocean as much as she did. Ariel decided to keep the locket as a reminder of her incredible adventure. As Ariel and Flounder swam back to their home, they couldn't stop talking about their amazing discovery. When they finally arrived, Ariel shared the story of their adventure and the treasure they had found with all the other sea creatures. Finding the treasure was wonderful, Ariel said, but the real treasure was the adventure and the memories we made along the way. From that day on, Ariel wore the golden locket as a symbol of her courage and curiosity. She continued to explore the ocean, always looking for new adventures and hidden wonders. And every time she looked at the locket, she remembered the thrilling journey she had taken with her best friend, Flounder. We have reached the end of the story. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with Luna on Teep Kid Channel. Bye. I'll see you next time.